Okay guys, so quick issue that I've managed to resolve. I hope this helps and for future individuals. Um, but going for the MySQL, I'm unable to make a uh, connection, remote connection back. Give a quick example. In, um, knowing for well, I'm able to access the server, the .27, and I'm on the VPN. So I've got an IP address, 10.10.14.26. Um, I can confirm that I'm able to access the server by doing an inmap. And so when I perform this, again, I can see the ports open, so that's, that wasn't the issue. Um, when I'm on the server, uh, when I try to authenticate to the MySQL, I'm able to do so, putting in the credentials. And then when I try and call that PowerShell script that I've uploaded to try and get a reverse shell back, it says that uh, that it's unable to connect to a remote server. So the actual issue turns out is from the MySQL back to my Kali instance. Um, I have the HTTP server up and running. I can confirm this by just doing a LS. I can see the PowerShell. And then I can start up the HTTP server open a new tab and then I'll make a curl I'm able to see the file so I know it's reachable um, so that wasn't the issue there if I do an uh, IF, uh, ifconfig however I can only see that, that I have the 191.168 address and I don't have the 10.10 subnet associated to my Kali I do have it on my local instance where I have my OpenVPN client running so um, once this is reset, what you need to do is go to the top right, connect on to the uh, VPN server and download VPN while you're on Kali. So this actually opens up an OVPN file. Download that, and that's actually in the download location. So confirm that, open up a new tab, CD into download. And you can see the starting point OVPN. So what you need to do is um, so sudo to OVPN, obviously making sure that you are off the client server that's running on, your, in my example, my window side. Run this OVPN, and then you'll see the utilization initialization sequence complete, which is a good sign. That in itself gives me a new interface, a 10.10.14.26. So actually my IP address is associated to Kali and I'm not trying to try and figure out bridging or netting from my local host to my, v, uh, to my VM. So if I try this again, try and connect. Again, same scenario, try and authenticate. When I try and call that PowerShell script again, try and get a reverse shell, I actually get an issue, different issue, saying that there's a security configuration. So just need to set this on the server. And then, yeah, make sure the CMD shell is to one. And then if I try that again, uh, you can see I'm now actually getting a connection to 10.10.27. If I do, who am I? And I'm the SQL service account. So very simple. Took me a little bit of time to figure out, trying to dice between VMs and trying to bridge the IPs, it's not needed. Just start up your VPN server instance on Kali and it'll give you the, the 10.x IP address. So hope that helps guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.